At the Nordic Wear Factory store, they love breakfast. No matter how you prefer to make it, they have the equipment from microwave pans to griddles and waffle irons. So get a head start on the day with breakfast from the Nordic Wear Factory store in St. Louis Park. Hi friends, welcome back to Twin Cities Live. It is Monday night meal time, as you just heard. If you've got a bunch of random spices hanging around, we're gonna use them up. This is a chicken recipe that we're doing. She's ready for it. Ready. It's spiced, but not spicy. Correct. So Rachel Perrin from Kowalski's Market is grilling up Moroccan kitchen skewers for tonight's Monday night meal presented by Nordic Ware Factory Store. And well, first of all, always great to see you. And thanks for hanging out with us because it's probably as hot here right now on this patio as the probably the spices in this Moroccan uh, chicken. The heat by the grill is intense. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been working for like so an you hour, are so a trooper. it's your job now. I'm going to pass things over to you. are such a trooper. We are yeah. work. Okay, when you think of Moroccan spiced, what does that mean to you? Right, well, like, I, like Ben was saying, it's not spicy. If you think of like chili pepper spice or heat, like you think of like buffalo sauce, salsa, this is more like warm, aromatic spices. Mm, so that yeah. North African cuisine is really known for that. So a lot of these spices you maybe have not used before in your, like with chicken or with savory dishes, but they taste amazing, especially when you blend them right. So we're going to show you how to use a whole bunch of them to give some plain old chicken some real personality. Yum! So that's We're going to start with Elizabeth. I'm going to have you start making the rub for the um, chicken. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on here just okay. to give it a little bit of, you know, moisture. And then I'm going to have you start just Should dumping I put it in, in here? here. Yep, just start dumping right in. Okay. Oh, nice. Sugar. Okay. Sugar. Salt. There's coriander. Cumin. Mm -hmm. There's um, paprika. Black pepper. And cardamom, which again, you think of as like Swedish so cookies or something. it's a lot of something. the C's. A lot of the C. Yeah, lot check, lot out the C's. C's check, check out the C section. Check out the C section. And yeah. honestly, if you don't have one of these, you could just maybe omit them. You could also try things like ginger and garlic. Those are very popular in Moroccan cuisine. But this is a really nice balanced combination of spices that's going to give this chicken tons and tons of flavor. And heavy on the spices. I mean, this looks like it's really a coating. Is that chicken breast? That's chicken breast. Okay. All white meat, chicken breast. And then we're going to do a similar mixture in a dip with has some yogurt in it. That's going to just give it a nice creamy coolness when we finish grilling the chicken. So you've got a cup of yogurt there, and Ben, I'm just going to have you add in some okay. garlic. That's a clove of garlic that's, that's going to pulverize All right. to a paste. I need, I need to get that out of there. Yeah. we got a little salt. Again, I've got more cardamom and more cumin. Full thing of salt? Throw that in All there. All that? Yeah. All measured for you, as always. Cardamom and cumin are in there just like they are over here, but we're also adding in some cayenne pepper. I like stacking these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was getting that. Very satisfying. It's like a little game. I know. A little, that's dry thyme. Ooh. And then a little chili powder, cinnamon, and cayenne pepper. Yeah. Okay. Really balanced So this flavor. actually has maybe a little bit more of a spicy kick than the actual chicken it itself. It does because of the cayenne. Um, have a little bit more. It does because of the ginger, the garlic. It's got a little bit more, but the yogurt is very cooling. So let's talk about doing the chicken on the grill, though. I did these as kebabs, you could definitely do them as a whole chicken breast if you wanted to instead. Oh. So you don't have to cut them up like this. The thing I like about doing them as kebabs is one, as you can see, they get charred bits all around. Yeah. You oh, get yeah. more of yeah. the little, you know, charred pieces. Everything cooks really quickly and really evenly. Mm -hmm. When I do them, I like to do them on two skewers per you know, not just one skewer. Oh, that's oh. a smart idea because I they find don't when spin. I do those as well, yeah. yeah, they spin around. Can you guys see this here? We got to show them really well because yeah. you can see how she's got two skewers going through and they're, and they're pretty big pieces of chicken. They're real big pieces of chicken. But the other thing that I've done you that's a little different than some people is, you notice I haven't made the chicken all like squinched up together and touching. Right. It's not all smashed on there. I've given a little bit of space in between each piece. Again, I'm getting more of that color all around the chicken. It's going to cook faster, more evenly. Because you ever notice that the pieces in the middle, sometimes they're not as done. Yeah. Or they taste I, a little, little. Less. I agree. Because yeah. even when I get like just the kebabs at the store and they've got all the veggies yeah. stacked in there, it's like sometimes I don't trust that everything's cooked it's evenly. Like spread them out a yeah. little. Yeah. Spread, you can just pull them apart a little bit or put them on another skewer. I also do the same thing. I do do my vegetables and my chicken separate from one another as well. Because the vegetables, especially tomatoes, zucchini, they're cooking in like four minutes. Right. The chicken yes. takes like 14. And you're going to take them off yes. anyway. Right. So, so that's what we've done here. And if you want to, you can try the chicken that's been grilled. It's about yes. 14 minutes on the grill. Oh my gosh. And look, you've got them over there. They look gorgeous yeah. and then the yogurt dip again is going to give you that nice oh, no. cool I'm gonna flavor. Right for the yogurt. oh my gosh and then what do you serve this with so you've got some well, veggies you could do it with rice 
couscous, quinoa, whatever oh you like. That's some grain that's you've got in your pantry. It's Monday meal. We try to be easy. You okay, know, Rachel, you, you need to sell that just as it that is right there. Dip. That dip note of that. is okay. ridiculous. Good. That is so good. Oh my gosh! And you're right. Like a little bit of heat, but then the cool from yeah, the yogurt. The dairy it's, just kind of calms everything down. It is so flavorful, oh and gosh. the chicken is so tender. And I can't believe it because I was a little bit like, oh, chicken breasts. No, that's a little risky. I mean, chicken thighs is a little bit more foolproof with mm -hmm. grilling because it's not going to dry out. There's nothing dry about this chicken. How good is all of this? The total combination. The uh, chicken itself. I know. I like the big chunks of chicken. Mm -hmm. It is so tender on the inside, and that dipping sauce on top of it is is the best. And I haven't even had this this gorgeous looking veggies yet. Yeah. Well, and the veggies are fun too because you can again use whatever you happen to have, maybe coming out of your garden or just whatever you like. I've done th three kinds of peppers, onions, tomatoes, but you can do different types of zucchini. You could put eggplant, mushrooms. You just kind of do whatever you like and whatever you want. If we're not going to do the grill, do you think you could do these in the oven, like do Absolutely. the pieces without even putting them on skewers? Absolutely. Put them in at about 450 maybe. If they're, you know, one and a half to two inch pieces like they're here, I'm guessing 10 minutes at the most. Yeah. In a nice 450 degree oven, they're going to cook really fast. And I want to make sure that we, we, we highlight this as well. I mean, you have all those skewers soaking in water, which is which you have to do when you're grilling. How long do you soak those skewers? Give them at least 10 minutes. You notice that mine even got a little char on them because, you know, we're, we're working fast back here in the backyard. So a 30 minute soak is really good if you can get that. Another thing that's also really great, um, and I have at home, are the metal skewers. Yeah. Because they're reusable, washable. Yeah. You know, they don't have to be soaked. You can just go right in with them. You so. don't have to mess with it. Rachel, yeah. I mean, you this always like knock it out of the park. But yeah. this one, this is like very <laughs> addictive. <laughs> Very I know. And I don't know. It's probably not Moroccan, but I feel like I need like a grilled pineapple with it as well. <laughs> yeah, like, I, don't know. I don't know. Like I don't know what it is. We like, need one of those margaritas. A margarita uh, goes great with anything. It's not super Moroccan, but we can think of it. I know. I know. It's <laughs> not super Moroccan. We can make a Moroccan cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this was so good. Every every family and all the kids are gonna love this. So we posted the recipe for the Moroccan uh, chicken skewers and the creamy yogurt dip. That is the one thing that you definitely must try. It's at twinsleeslive.com slash recipes. And again, thanks to the Nordicware Factory Store for presenting our Monday night meal. We've got more Twin Cities Live to come.